Hello and welcome once again. This is Dr. Matthew, and I'm very grateful that you're joining me tonight on another edition of our weekly health updates. And what we're going to discuss is whether or not Twinkies can withstand a nuclear holocaust. Now, we both know the answer to that. Of course, it's no. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to shed some light on a greater issue that plagues many Americans and many people across the world because they are not aware. And this uh, issue is actually ingredients within many refined foods. If you can't pronounce it, you really shouldn't be putting it into your body. And Twinkies have 39 ingredients, most of which you can't pronounce. And if you were to lay them out on an actual table, you would find that it looks like a chemistry set. So these foods do not nourish our bodies in any way, shape, or form, contrary to popular belief, even though they're fortified with vitamins and nutrients. Don't be fooled by the hype. This is complete and utter garbage. These synthetic derivatives will actually keep you in a bad state of health depress your immune system and ultimately give you more problems than you bargained for. Some of the ingredients I'm going to talk to you about today may absolutely shock you. Now, a gentleman named Mr. Steve Etlinger wrote a book called Twinkie Deconstructed, and he actually investigated some of the ingredients within these Twinkies. He did a great job at pointing out the ingredients, but we need to understand from a physiological standpoint that these are very horrible for the human body and what effects that they have. So I want to go into that right now. And if you want to go to his page, we can follow along. Some of these ingredients are thiamine mononitrate. That's a petroleum-derived product. Uh, petroleum. So we're ingesting petroleum when we eat Twinkies. Um, another ingredient is uh, corn dextrins. Corn dextrin is basically glue. It's the glue that you find on the back of an envelope. So we're eating glue. Another ingredient that we're going to find is high fructose corn syrup. And high fructose corn syrup is very very harmful to the human body and will actually predispose you to diabetes and that's one of the main reasons in America why the diabetes epidemic is running rampant because high fructose corn syrup is a very cheaply derived uh, sugar derivative that can be mass produced for very low cost and ultimately elevates the profit of anyone that uses it in the food industry and we have to understand that the FDA is not out protecting us by any means and the food industry is out to sell you more product, out to basically get you fat. Obviously, the more that you eat, the more money they make. So constantly we see commercials on television. Even if you look at the commercials on television, pay attention in one hour of all the commercials you see and list and, and number how many of them are actually food commercials. You'll be shocked. Food and pharmaceutical commercials is basically all you'll see for the most part. And another ingredient that I want to point out at this particular moment is cellulose gum and cellulose gum is what you're going to find in rocket fuel that's rocket fuel and if you don't believe me do the research for yourself and you really shouldn't be taking my word for any of my health blogs because my main mission is to help empower you but ultimately uh, you need to do the research for yourself and not rely on corporate propaganda these conglomerates shoving you information on the television and the media is owned by the sponsors so we have to be very clear of that and the FDA accepts bribes daily he who has the gold makes the rules so we need to be very careful and cautious of where we get the information from now we also have hydrogenated vegetable animal shortenings these hydrogenated or trans fatty acids as they're called are very toxic to the arteries um, they scrape the arteries they lead to cancer yet we have them in Twinkies we have them in many other refined foods and I just wanted to go ahead and point out another thing about high fructose corn syrup. If you're fat, if you gain weight easily, high fructose corn syrup is the main cause. Now, the reason why is because it's very, very simple sugar. And this simple sugar, once it's ingested, metabolizes very quickly. So even if you worked out directly after, 90% of that will still turn to fat. So if you want to lose weight really fast, Get on raw fruits and vegetables for a couple weeks. You'll drop like no, you'll drop weight in no time because you won't have any of this synthetic garbage coming into your body. So, I wanted to point out some of those ingredients again, so you could be empowered when it comes to your health. Hopefully, you've gotten a lot of, out of this tutorial so far. And I wanted to draw your attention to another study that I just came across. And I'm sorry, this was a research article by the New York Times, and this kind of ties into what I was saying in the fact that. The ex-chief of the China Food and Drug Administration was ultimately sentenced to death for corruption and accepting bribes. Now, what would happen if the leaders in this country were sentenced to death for corruption and accepting bribes? 
we wouldn't have anybody on the FDA, that's for sure. We wouldn't have <laughs> – we'd be hard-pressed to find anybody in Washington, and that's a very, very large problem. So we need to draw our attention to the fact that these – people are being fed by the pharmaceutical industry they're being fed by the food industry so there's not going to be that much change that comes about when they get into office so be very aware be very cautious and even the former commissioner of the FDA said it very plainly when he said that what the people think the FDA are doing and what the FDA is actually doing are as different as are as different as night and day so again I hope you got a lot out of this particular weekly health vlog and ultimately if you enjoyed it please go ahead and rate it at the bottom you can visit the link to the right hand side of this page and what you're going to find there is you're going to find a link to my book where I discuss in great detail about food processing and many other things that will absolutely shock you but it's what you need to know to be able to empower yourself and ultimately those of you that are on MySpace can go ahead and add me as a friend on MySpace my MySpace URL is myspace.com backslash A-L-L-P-R-O C-H-I-R-O if you have any questions feel free to message me I'd love to hear from you and ultimately to uh, shed some light on some different topics and join me for the other editions of my health blogs that I post and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.